Building a rocket is hard. Building a parachute is mind-boggling. SpaceX has a startup mentality, high ambitions and a slew of accomplishments, which include landing two rocket boosters side by side in a synchronized aerial ballet. Boeing is a powerful aerospace stalwart whose expertise spans from commercial and military planes to satellites and outside the box thinking, its experimental, reusable space plane, for example, broke records by staying in orbit for more than two years at a time. But both companies are getting tripped up on parachutes. It's a delicate dance to open up parachutes attached to a spacecraft that's hurtling through the atmosphere at supersonic speeds. The Rube Goldberg-esque sequence involves explosives, precise timing and battles against pressure and high winds. If done right, the astronauts will touch down safely. If not, the crew can be killed on impact. The technology has improved since the Renaissance-era sketches by Leonardo da Vinci, and especially since the 1950s, when the U.S. military used parachutes in the ballistic missile program. But advances are tricky, and they require extensive physical testing because it's impossible to build computer models that predict exactly how parachutes will behave. As SpaceX and Boeing work under NASA contracts to develop spacecraft to ferry astronauts to and from the International Space Station, ISS, they keep grappling with this tech. In April, three of the four parachutes in a SpaceX test failed, crashing their payload into the ground. Last month, during a Boeing test, one of three chutes failed to deploy. That spacecraft managed to land safely anyway. Both companies also face the question of how much to reinforce parachute strings to ensure they can bear enough weight, an upgrade that even NASA hadn't realized would be needed. And both are working with Airborne Systems, a longtime parachute maker with a Santa Ana, California, factory, on design and production. The world is about to see Boeing's parachute system put to the test. On Friday, Boeing launched its Starliner capsule on its first ever uncrewed flight to the space station. The capsule ended up in the wrong orbit, and NASA canceled the Starliner's docking with the ISS. It will make a hastier than planned return to Earth on Sunday with a landing at White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico, that will showcase the parachute system's effectiveness. The flight test will be a phenomenal opportunity to learn how the systems will perform in real life, Phil McAllister, director of commercial spaceflight development at NASA, told reporters last week. Computer models are great, but they only go so far. The idea of a parachute dates back more than 500 years. One of da Vinci's notebooks describes a pyramid with a skeleton of wooden poles and a linen skin that could protect someone jumping from a great height. In 2000, writers for more on this story, visit the news article link.